Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Savers. And if you're like me, you want to feel like you're working in a sci-fi environment. Or maybe you want to spruce up your room and make it look really cool. So this is one of the things that I've been working on periodically uh, over weeks, just trying out different things. And I've learned a couple of things that I think are really cool, and I thought I'd share them with you so that you can make a prop like this for your space. Space. For your space space. For your sci-fi space. Yeah. Okay, I'm more than halfway done, so I wanted to give you a rundown of, of how I've got this far. This is, of course, a, uh, a plastic tray from Subway. Um, this is the top part of the tray, and this is what it looks like painted. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've painted it, and uh, I'll give you an idea of how I've done that, too. This is a piece of 1 8 inch thick aluminum that I've cut and uh, done the corners so that it's going to fit in there perfectly. And, of course, I've got some uh, ABS uh, plumbing pipe ends that I've cut holes and I've fastened those in there and those will it'd be obvious what I'm doing with those a little bit later um, but one thing I do want to show you is uh, if you spray paint the inside of the plastic silver now I like a, a metallic looking silver like this rust-oleum um, Krylon makes a really good one too uh, then what you do is you paint the outside now this is the same paint I used on the walls in the shop here so it's a latex paint and I've used a, a latex wash um, but then wherever you scratch off paint there's silver showing underneath. Okay, you'll see, because I used, a, I used a brush and I painted on a latex paint, it's a really rough finish. But being that it's going to be a weathered prop anyways, um, I've, I've, uh, I've gone with it, tried to make it as smooth as I can. Obviously, if you spray paint this like I did the other one, you're going to get a much better finish. Um, but what I did want to show you is, I'm just going to use my fingernail here. I'm just going to scrape away some of the... You don't really see it well there. I'm going to do it here. If you scrape away the gray, you get silver underneath. So it's a great way to make it look like where the paint's chipped, there's metal underneath. I'm going to do some right here, just on the corner, if you can see that. As with props, less is more, so I don't want to do, I don't want to chip away, scratch away too much. Uh, I just want to go around and do it in subtle bits and then see how it looks, evaluate, and then do some more if I, if I need to. Okay, this is the inside frame. I've got some, uh, some MDF. I made basically a little box, and this is some plastic material that, you know, some parts came in that I spray painted silver. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to give the prop some depth. This is what's going to mount onto the wall. It's going to hang on the wall like a, kind of like a picture frame. Um, and I measured the size of it, so everything's going to fit together. And when this part goes in, you'll see that these screw holes basically are going to hold the whole thing together. And uh, you'll see some depth. This is going to be a handle. So this is just a, um, a hinge from a kitchen cupboard door. And that's going to work like a kind of like a manual release handle when I'm done. Um, but that's going to give it some depth, some, something to look at. Uh, that's one thing that I find that makes props and things look it looks extra real. It's just attention to the detail. I've got some more weathering to do here, and I've obviously got to finish off the handle, bolt it all together, and then I can try hanging it on the wall. Okay, here's the prop in place in its wall with the red handle fitted for the, the release. I'm not going to be able to reach up there and pull it out. Um, it's pretty pretty secure. The hose is just, uh, just cheap um, hot water tank uh, runoff hose that you get at the hardware store. I think it was like eight bucks for lots. Um, the trim that you see around the plastic edge, because I don't like the plastic edge, it kind of hints that the thing's made of plastic, um, is actually a windshield washer, automotive windshield washer tube that was really inexpensive, four bucks for like six feet, and uh, I slit down one side so that I could fit it all the way around nicely, and because it's rubber it forms really well, and it makes a kind of an industrial seal looking thing. Um, so the prop's ready. That's one way you can take a subway tray and make it into something cool for your space. Here's another one that I did. I spray painted it with trim clad paint so it's got a closer finish. This one's a lot closer to the eye so I wanted it uh, much more detailed and the keypad is just a keypad from a calculator that I got uh, at a thrift store and this is a, a digital name tag that I found on Amazon and you can program it with whatever you want um, and I noticed that it also uses the characters from your computer so you can load it with Arabesh and it's got a couple different programs and it was really cheap. Um, these are just handles, drawer handles, uh, from uh, a renovation store. So, and I did the same thing with the windshield washer tube on the surround. So just another a variety of ways you can just use these plastic containers 
and uh, spray paint them silver on the inside and really, really uh, enhance your space. Make it feel like you're living in a sci-fi world like I am. Thanks again for watching.